Hi, my name is Mark Minear. I'm a PGA Golf Professional. And uh, what I got here is a homemade version of a swinger's flail that uh, obviously you can make at home. And, and it's got some purpose. You know, you can make your own little teaching aids uh, and obviously have a lot of, it'll help your golf swing. Basically with this hinge right here and these two PVC square pipes, what it does is it teaches you how to hinge like the wrist. And, and we know on the way down, so many golfers have this transition problem that the thing whips out the wrong time. When you have a hinge here, when you're coming down, you want to whip out right at the bottom. So what you'll do is you'll start to practice swing and you'll feel the energy go right out through the hinge. I really like this feel because I sometimes pretend there's a ball bearing in the top and on the way down right at the bottom, the ball bearing can roll through two pipes right at the bottom. All right. Again, we know another common error too. A lot of golfers like to cast. Okay. And again, if you get quick up here, see, by the time you get to the imaginary ball, this would have been broken this way. You don't want that to happen. You want it all to line up. Okay. So you kind of have to do it slow. Take it back, bring it down. See, it lengthens out right there, right at the bottom. The ball bearing flew right out through the two shafts right at the bottom. Again, this is a great little tool you can make at home. All right. Just a hinge, two BV two PVC pipes, all right? Just practice swinging, especially if you don't have room at your house to swing indoors with a club or something. You can, it's obviously not very long. You can do this, work on your timing. It teaches you timing. Do it slow motion sometimes. See if it holds the hinge, watch this. It tells you where to release the wrist. Again, release the wrist, the energy re releases down, not forward. Again, so many people, amateur golfers, have that problem. They get here and release it forward, and again, if you would have looked at that, that was kind of slightly forward. It didn't look like the right timing. Okay. Take a couple slow swings up to the top. See it? Told me right where to release all that energy. And that's, we want to get this lined up right at point of contact. All right. Now, we want to hold that angle all the way down. This is where the release point. See how it stays hinged? It's going to teach you that same time. You're always going to bring it down to that same spot. That's where it's going to release. Teaches you timing of where the release actually happens. Let me do that one more time, slow motion. I'll bring it down to the spot. So I can do it there. If I did it too soon, you'll feel forward down at the bottom. We don't want that. Again, regular speed. You can see that. Holds it here, lengthens out, swivels to the finish. Work with that. I think it will help your game.